name's Mike Carter. I'm the owner of Milverton Food Town. I'll take you on a little tour of what we did for COVID here. So in my background is the front of our store. So a nice quiet start to the day at Milverton Food Town here today. We're just getting open and have a little bit of a lineup to start, but you can see our soils have come in. It's even though COVID's here, life goes on. So as we come in the door here, this is our lovely Josh waiting for customers to come in, making sure everybody sanitizes, keeping the list of how many people are in the store. We max out at 12 and then ask people to stay in or outside till we uh, somebody leaves. And we don't allow gloves to come in from outside, but we do provide free gloves for anybody that feels the need to wear them. Probably the biggest challenge with with when this hit with that is that we both are in in frontline areas where we both run the risk of getting sick and bringing it back either in Bev's case she could bring it back to me that which would transmit it into our store or I could give it to her which transmits it back into the hospital so it's a kind of a scary situation when you're both in separate areas working on the front line that that you're you're in areas where you, you can both be exposed in separate ways, which, which is a scary situation. Mike and I had discussed prior to that, you know, what we would do if something like this were to happen. So once we found out that I was exposed, then we decided right away that we would start living apart. So April 1st, um, Mike moved into a small trailer parked at the grocery store and I stayed here at home, uh, self-isolating. So I work in the microbiology department. All the uh, COVID samples come through our department and uh, we do not do the testing at Stratford. We package them up and we send them. Um, currently, uh, they're going to uh, London. After I went into self-isolation, I did become sick um, and I did test positive for COVID. Um, my symptoms were very mild. I still have a little bit of a tickle left, cough left, but uh, I was very lucky. We've all watched TV enough to see the worst case scenarios. So I think my story is important too, in that mine were very mild and could have easily been overlooked or put off to stress or, you know, other, other ailments. So right now, um, Stratford General has excuse me, a policy in place where healthcare workers um, need to have two negative tests before returning to work. So um, my symptoms resolved. I think I, I only was fevered for two nights. Um, I had night sweats for three nights. So my sim those symptoms have long resolved, but my retests um, are kind of all over the map. There's a lot of discrepancy or are misunderstanding. They're not sure if the virus is alive or dead, if I'm capable of transmitting it or not. But at our grocery store, we do not want to take any chances. And I certainly don't want Mike um, to get sick or any of the staff to get sick. So we are remaining apart. Um, we feel that until I get those two negative tests in a row, that we will stay apart. So I'm hoping we keep getting optimistic that, oh, it'll only be another few days. And, but unfortunately, a uh, few days has turned into 31 now. Right at the beginning, obviously, I, I'm sure in this area, people know Craig's story. The grocery business is a pretty small world. And uh, Craig and I hold a lot of this, the same uh, interests in that we're both hockey fans. His son and my son both worked for a an accounting firm, uh, the same accounting firm. They went to the same business schools. So we kept in touch and had our monthly conversations. And so it hit pretty close to home, both in the grocery world and also in that it's somebody that I know quite well. And, and uh, yeah, is a, is a scary time. As you can see, we built our own little barriers for our cashiers to stay, uh, keep them protected from any of the customers. And we don't use the second till, which gives us our six feet. 
Um, on our floors, we've got arrows marked to keep them all one way to try and give our customers a little bit of chance to social distance. As you can see, our store is fairly small. So there's not a lot of room down these aisles to give you six feet. So we keep everything one way if we can and ask the customers to abide by that, but try not to get in any fights if we can help it. We live in the greatest country in the world. We, we take for granted some of the simplest things and some of the, the littlest truths. I said earlier, my father turned uh, 80 years old on April 1st. He's an April Fool's baby, um, born 1940 during the war. And uh, I haven't seen him for two weeks before that. So we're going on almost 55, 60 days that I haven't seen my dad, which is something he worked with me in the store. He taught me everything I know here. And it's something we've always took for granted. You know, a lot of times the father-son thing doesn't work out quite so well when the son took over. But with us, it was wonderful. And I miss him dearly. He, uh, he means a lot more to me than just being my dad and uh, I think we take a lot of things for granted in Canada that we have had given to us or we've had the right the right to do whether it's going fishing or going camping or going golfing that people are upset because they can't do right now and the greater picture is so much bigger than that and and I hope we get to the other side of this as better people I would send a big shout out um, said this before as the owner i kind of feel it's my responsibility but the workers here have been put in a real position and and our staff is known for being happy and smiley and uh probably the greatest compliment i got through all this covid and what we're doing is a customer that came to me and said i don't know what you're doing but your staff's still smiling and uh under very trying times They've been deemed frontline workers, and I don't know that I ever thought I would have lived to see where a grocery store worker is deemed frontline, but our staff takes that with pride. They come to work every day. They do what they have to do to make sure our community still has food, and, and it's really neat. It's a wonderful thing to be part of, and I just hope we can keep them healthy.